This is the Enduro Engineering skid plate. Enduro Engineering is a manufacturer of off-road components, accessories, uh, well respected in the states and uh, known for making really great products. Uh, there, you see a lot of their products in the off-road community. And this is what I think is a really good skid plate for the Tenere. And I'm gonna explain why. Why I made the decision to buy this pl skid, particular skid plate and what I think makes it better perhaps than some of the other choices on the market. So full disclosure is I am not sponsored or paid by Enduro Engineering and I paid full price for this skid plate. I bought it on eBay. It was 200 and just shy of $210 plus shipping. It was $230 delivered to my door. Uh, it appears to be really good quality. I looked really close at some of the other offerings. Um, here are some of the things that I like about this particular skid plate. For one, it, it follows the contours of the bike. The, the, uh, it has multiple brakes in this piece right here to wrap really close to the front of the engine. And it has a, a cutaway for the catalytic converter for the, the newer model, the later model Tenere's. And, and on this surface, on this angle, it, it gets in really close to the bike also. So it doesn't stick way out like some of the skid plates do that you see. Some of the skid plates are like a big bucket that, that, that pass right out here, just a big scoop, because they don't make any consideration to try to tuck in close to the, to the engine and the exhaust system here. And it just looks like a big shovel sticking out there. And I kind of wanted a skid plate that was understated as understated as it can be for as big as it is but the craftsmanship on it is really good the welds are really nice it looks like it's 3 16 187 thousandths thick um, the machine work on it is really nice or CNC routing or milling whichever it is um, everything looks really nice um, it has these are these mounts are recessed to so you can glide right over the top of that and they're slotted so to help with fitment so if you have any issues with fitment and the rubber mounting is good as you probably know some of the aluminum skid plates can have can create a type of resonant vibration um, resonant frequencies that that amplify the engine noise of your machine and uh, some people don't really don't like that I don't particularly care for it but I know it's because it's an aluminum skid plate. Um, but some of the plastic ones, I don't know, I just didn't like edges or the edges, outside edges are chamfered really nice. The inside edges, I they're just either, it looks like, uh, well, it looks like this was machine, it was routed, CNC routed or machine, but they didn't break the inside edges. And I don't really care for that. I think that, uh, that's one thing they could have done a little better. I typically have to do this on all my skid plates. I take a deburring tool and run along there and kind of soften that edge. So if it ends up pushing into the bike, it push into a hose or something, it doesn't damage the hose. And plus when you're reaching in there trying to wash, it doesn't cut the heck out of you. Um, but that's something I'd like to see from the manufacturers. But in actuality, most manufacturers don't. I pretty much had to deburr every skid plate that I've ever purchased. Uh, the rubber mounting that that Enduro Engineering does here is a great idea. Um, that should help with some of the uh, resonant frequencies I mentioned earlier. However, I think this could be a maintenance item. Um, but you're going to have your skid plate off from time to time anyway. Um, I think you're going to need to remove it to change the oil. and. Uh, you know, you always have to mess with your skid plates from time to time. So is that whole, you, where's, the, where's the oil plate Maybe that's at? where you drain the oil. I'm not sure. It probably is. Uh, the filter's on the front of the bike, though. So this also mounts to, I believe, to the rear frame. And so I know Yamaha says that you shouldn't, you shouldn't jack the bike up. You shouldn't lift the bike from the engine stand or from the engine guard. So hopefully with this that's not an issue that I'll be able to lift the bike from underneath and not not worry about that uh, one thing I didn't really care for is the price of the 
optional linkage guard, which is a plastic piece that's formed around the linkage. But in my experience is the linkage guard can actually get caught up on things and bend down. I've seen it a lot in off-road racing where, where the linkage guard is actually bent down and hanging. If you get, if you get hung up on something, it's going to peel back. Plus, I've never had a problem. I've never damaged a linkage piece on the bike. And if you think that it's going to help you, prevent you from having to maintain your linkage as often, that's probably not the case. You're still going to have to maintain your linkage on a regular basis. And here's how the linkage piece sits down, hangs down on a YZ250 that I've raced for years in off-road events without issue. So I'm going to get this mounted up and we'll take a look. Okay, so I completely chamfered the inside of the skid plate all the way around. And it's ready for install. The stock skid plate weighs 1.7 pounds. The new Enduro Engineering skid plate weighs 6.4, 4.7 pounds difference. Okay, there it is installed. And it's really just what I was looking for. Let's take a look at this thing. It's, uh, you know, I won't say understated, but it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb either. Let's take a look at this. So it, it tucks up pretty tight to the coolant lines and it kind of deflects away from them. I think that uh, it's going to offer an adequate amount of protection. And the water pump, again, it kind of deflects from it. If you smack a stump or something, I think you're probably going to be okay. I mean, that's an important piece that your skid plate needs to take care of. It needs to protect that water pump. Let's take a look at it this way. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's going to be good. Um, underneath here, okay, there's where the linkage guard would bolt to if you wanted to go that route. And I may do something there. So come back, look at it like this. I mean, the linkage is quite exposed. But it's exposed on a lot of bikes, you know, it just, that piece is tough. That piece is tough. It's not like you're going to break that casting. It might even be forged. And the way these are, are set in, I think, I think that's going to be durable. I may still do a button here as opposed to a hex nut, hex bolt. But the way this tucks in, it's tight. It's really one of the more compact skid plate designs that I've seen compared to a lot of a lot of them that are available on the market. And that's kind of what I wanted. It's not just a big scoop sticking out in the front. I mean, it's tucked up. It really hugs the motor tight. And I was able to to use the stock exhaust guard here for I guess that's a catalytic converter, and it does not hit. It's close, but it doesn't hit. As far as fitment of this plate goes, it was right about here. It touches this uh, this lower bolt-on framer a little bit, right about here. And I did use a scissor jack just a little bit. I probably could have got it without, but just to make it easy, since I have it here on the lift, I went ahead and used that, and it was it, it bolted up pretty nice. There wasn't much, wasn't much pain involved in that. But yeah, really nice, really, really nice quality part. I think I'm going to be really happy with it. And here she is from the port side. Again, kind of the same angles, the same uh, compound angles up front here to just kind of really, really tuck it in tight to make it kind of a compact unit while providing all the protection you need. Kind of picks up this cover pretty good. You know, it has one extra little mounting point. You know, let's see if I can focus on that. They come underneath here, that little mount right there on the exhaust tab, or on the exhaust hanger. Um, that's a bonus, and hey, it really wasn't that hard to get to. And it gives you a place, to, that's the first bolt you put in, and uh, it actually kind of supports the back of the skid plate while you get the other screws started so pretty nice so there it is installed and i don't think it sticks out like a sore thumb 
doesn't look too big or odd on the bike and I think it's gonna provide excellent protection in fact I'm sure of it I rode the bike around I didn't hear any unusual vibrations or anything coming off of it um, no resonant harmonics or anything weird like that Let's start the bike and we'll just kind of double check that rev it a little bit <laughs> Nope, it's not making any noise or any weird vibrations. I think it's good. Hey, thanks for watching Krusty Cycle. Please like and subscribe.